Welcome back to my Intro to MATLAB series using the official MathWorks OnRamp course. In this lesson, we will be focusing on using built-in functions and constants in MATLAB. So starting with this first task, note that MATLAB contains built-in constants such as pi to represent the mathematical symbol pi. So for instance, if you were to type a equals pi, you would get a result of a equals 3.1416, which is of course the value of pi rounded to four decimal places. But keep in mind that MATLAB does represent the built-in constant with more decimal places internally. And so for this task, we want to create a variable named x with a value of pi over 2. So we'll type pi slash 2, just like so. And after we hit enter, we of course see that we get a result of x equals 1.5708. Moving on to task 2, notice that MATLAB contains a wide variety of built-in functions such as ABS for absolute value and EIG for eigenvalues. And so for instance, if you were to type A equals SIN parentheses negative five, MATLAB will recognize the sine function SIN. And so you will get a result of A equals 0 0.9589. So for this task, we want to calculate the sine of x by using the sine function and we want to assign the result to a variable named y. So to do this, we will of course type y equals sin parentheses x close parentheses. Then we hit enter and we will get a result of y equals one. And now for task three, we want to calculate the square root of negative nine by using the square root function SQRT. And so in MATLAB, whenever you want to find the square root of a number, you want to use the built-in function for square roots SQRT. And now we want to assign the result to a variable named Z. So in that case, we will type Z equals sqrt parentheses negative nine close parentheses and just like in a calculator always remember to wrap the value around parentheses whenever you're using one of these built-in functions so we hit enter and we see that we have a result of z equals zero plus three i where in this case I of course represents an imaginary or complex number. Since this is of course gonna spit out an imaginary number since we are taking the square root of a negative number. And now moving on to our bonus step for further practice. Again, note that the previous solution contains the imaginary number I, which is a built-in constant in MATLAB. And now the command window output shows only the first four decimal places, just like how we saw for pi, as well as the result in task one. However, we do have the ability to control the displayed precision using the format function. So for this step, we will try displaying more decimal places of the variable x using the line format long x. So I'll go ahead and simply copy and paste it over to the command window and then hit enter. Of course, we can see that we now get a more complete set of decimal places for the value of x. And of course, notice that you can also switch back to the default display using the line format short x. So pasting this onto our command window, and hitting enter, we of course return to the original four decimal place format 
for the value of x.